What's going on, Urban Adventures? Welcome to another episode. We are here again at one of the local Walker Rivers. This is the Lake Michigan Tributary River. We are actually going for Chinook salmon and coho. And uh, after doing a lot of scouting, we did find a pod of cohos and uh, Chinook salmon. They're actually swimming back and forth about 100 yards. So they get 100 yards out there. They're actually running right now. And there's actually a big screw of uh, cohos and Chinooks right in front of me. But today we'll be using we'll be using skein and uh, spawn sacks, and then I'm also going to be throwing spinners, just depending on uh, how they how they do. But this is a real simple setup. This is an eight foot six lightning rod by Berkeley, and then got a PC fun. This is the new Carbon X baitcaster reel, the XCS, and you guys see me pull the buffaloes in with this, and uh, we're going to test it out on these. Chinook salmon because uh, these actually fight a lot better. So this is my one setup. This is my second setup. This is my Echo 7 weight fly rod, 9 foot. And I also have it paired off with a Sage 7 8 weight fly reel. And I'm just going to use a weightless woolly bugger. These are hand tied by me. And I'm also going to be using very, various different colors. So but we're going to start off first with uh, some spawn sacks and see if we can land one on a spawn sack since I've been doing a lot of fly fishing here try to get one on this lightning rod so yeah follow along let's go do some fishing well one note when you're coming to these urban areas always make sure that make sure that you have a buddy with you because uh, a lot of these places are very very sketchy uh, we've been warned by one of the conservation warnings that checked us out on sun Saturday that uh, there's a lot of drug users and a lot of muggers here so I never come here alone. Always make sure you have someone else with you. I do have my brother here with me for safety reasons. There's a couple guys over there just playing in the water. Whatever they're doing, I'm not even sure. But uh, we didn't even go close to them, so. But yeah, let's get to the video. Let's go do some fishing. Hopefully we'll land some nice Chinook salmon and coho for you guys. Let's go fishing. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. Just, just floating right in front of her. She's, she doesn't even care. School fish uh, swimming right in front of me right now, just heading straight towards the bobber. Let's see if this group will hit. Okay, they swim right right by the bobber. And then once they go into the shadow, I can't even see them anymore. Yeah, they're not showing any kind of interest at all. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Ooh. That one came right above his head and then he took it. Yes. It's my first coho baby. Johnny! 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 Coho! Yes, guys, this is my first coho, guys. My first coho ever. And I lived in uh, this area for her a long time. Oh, he's got himself wrapped. Come on, unwrap yourself. Unwrap yourself. Turn this way. 
There he goes. Unwrapped. Oh, shoot. Don't get wrapped. There he goes. Unwrapped. That's good. That's good. That's good. Stay like that. Stay like that. Yeah. They just started coming back up there too. Oh yeah. I cast this right in front of him and I saw him lift his head up That's and he bit it. That's cool. I was like, heck yeah. Cool. Nice oh, yeah. There he goes. Yes. Woo! First coal of the season. My first coal ever. Ever? Ever. Look at that kite on that thing. Oh my god. That thing is pretty. Ooh, and right in its mouth. He took it all the way in. Okay. Oh. Oh. Was over. Yeah, Strong. definitely. Oh, slimy. Definitely got a retie. Wow, coals are super slimy. Oh, slimy. Do you have your pliers in my backpack? Yeah, turn around. Okay, it came off. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Damn, that's a deep cut. Oh, did the water just get higher? Oh, the water's getting higher. Right? Yeah, it is. Look at this cute little female coho right here. That one looks pretty fresh. <laughs> For those that don't know, the fish had to be 10 inches and uh, this is well over 10 inches. This is probably about 18, probably close to 18 inches right here. So this is a legal fish if you guys ever wanted to keep them. This small, they got to be 10 inches in, uh, in the Great Lakes. Really beautiful coho, very fresh. I think that's on earth. I'm not come out of the car, got in a conjure. I'm not a little knock a little ha in a lot and not a hose. I'm not a motor con. I'm not that that's that they does on who we finally got one hooked up, guys. Took a little bit. This one swiped at it. Oh, look at that area. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it looks like a female. Oh, I got him on the bottom of its fin. Darn. See if you can reach down and just kind of like, uh, just unhook it if you can. Or maybe not. <laughs> Okay, this one swiped at it and uh, it missed it. And I got it, got its fin. Nice, good net job. Yeah, we'll just kind of take the hook off and then we'll just uh, throw it back in. Beautiful female, too. Yeah, just uh, release her. Yeah, show the camera first. Look how beautiful that hen is. Wow, I can't even see it. Hold on a second. We got the sun glare. Okay. Here she goes. Oh. 
All right, just keep fighting it. Get on that. Let me get on that side. Yeah, it looks like it's all tangled. There it goes. It's untangled now. Just slowly bring it towards me. Oh man, oh, yeah. that's wow. That's a big male. <laughs> that's big. That is a big male coho right there. That's a big male right there. Last fish of the day. He's got it all wrapped up around his nose. Oh careful. Oh. Yeah, these fish are super strong. Okay. Oh, pliers. Okay. Nice. Good. Good hook set. Good hook set. Whoo, what a fun day fishing. All right, Urban Adventures. Hopefully, you guys uh, like this episode. I didn't get too many of the fish in. Uh, as they were caught by, mostly caught my, by my brother. I was uh, more over here on this side and uh, I caught a couple. I got them on film, but as long as my brother caught, uh, I couldn't get them on film. Uh, he was about 100 yards away from me, so. But uh, I think we did pretty good. We got, I think, seven, six uh, cohos and one king. And this is my first time catching this many cohos. Actually, my first time catching a red coho. And that was on my bucket list and uh, I could finally knock that one off, so. But thanks for our Sanford coming out and my brother for helping and no combat fishing today which is pretty good pretty good and and we're just about maybe 200 yards down from uh, the combat fishing area so man, you can tell that a lot of people do come here but today it is a weekday and and uh, we got the whole spot to ourselves just the three of us so anyways uh, hopefully you guys like this video make sure you like comment share subscribe and as always Follow your dreams, follow your passions, make it happen guys. See you guys on the next video.